Hey everybody, let's take a look at this clip and we're going to have a conversation. Um, you got to watch who you sign a contract with. Marriage is a contract and I'm just going to say this. Um, you have to look at the background. So when you are dealing with a community that's like I was uh, a matriarch, run by a matriarch, and the men typically aren't providers as a collective, don't be surprised, and it could happen to any nationality, in any culture, north, south, east, west, somebody could be an Eskimo, but don't be surprised when the contract is upside down. Okay? So check this out. Here we go. What you mean, what oh, so here's the wife. You can say wife quits her job and expects her husband to pay the bill. So let's hear this. Why you quit your job? Because I wasn't finna pay bills anymore. I don't want to do any of this anymore. What you mean you're not finna pay bills anymore? I'm not paying any bills anymore. Like, are you hard of hearing? Like, so, I'm not doing it anymore. So you're not gonna help me out Oh. Why? Because that's your job. You're supposed to be paying all the bills in the first place. Why I gotta go work? Why I gotta get up at eight o'clock in the morning? It's our house, but you gonna pay all these bills. I'm not doing it by myself. I'm saying, so what's wrong with you working and helping? There's a lot wrong with it. Why I gotta do it? Why I gotta do it? You sit up here and act like you're the man of the house. Okay, be the man of the house and pay all the bills. I'm not doing it. I am the man of the house. No, you're not. No, you're not. Not complaining like that. No, I'm the man of the house. The man of the house telling you you need to. Now, I'm not going to go do anything. I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing right here on my computer, and you go to work. What you doing on you the computer, y'all? You know the kids, be a man, doing, step up, and do what you need to do. I've always been a man. No, you're not. No, I've you're not. You don't have to be lately. Been a man. You sure haven't been lately. How? So what? You how? bring this camera in my face to do what? How? What point are you to trying show, to prove? To show people how sorry you is. I'm That's not sorry. I'm not sorry. sorry. What I'm going to do is be the lady in the house to make sure the house is taken care of and you go out and work. Oh, How come I don't? Did you just eat last night? What the, Did you just eat last night? Tell the them point, what, the point is, tell them what you could the be point is, I'm not going to go and work for nobody anymore. Now, you can go and work at your little warehouse job and Listen. bring back the money so Listen. we can pay these bills. Cooking rotel ain't no... What you talking about? We're not even talking about me cooking. What we talking about is you going to work so you can come back home and make sure that we good. No, what we talking about is you need to go get a job so you can No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not about to do anything. If you're not satisfied... No, we need to help make sure we each other good. No, I'm good. I'm good. You need to make sure that this whole house is You good? Yeah, I'm good. How you good if you just quit your job? Because you don't know what I got put up. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not paying anything else. Oh, so that's what we doing. Like I said, I'm not paying anything else. And you 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 going to be responsible for everything else. I'm tired of paying bills. Simple as that. So what you going to do? Bro, that little portion you put in on Portion? That little portion. Okay, so my little portion about nothing. Because I'm not paying anything else. And that's the problem. You're not understanding it. You don't understand why you don't think that's a problem. It isn't a problem. So I'm, I'm your wife. I'm your wife. So why do you want your wife to go out and work? I'm not understanding it. Plenty of people want to work. Okay, I'm not gonna be one of them anymore. Simple as that. No. You need to step your no. game up. Go get you another job. Go get two, three, four, five, six more if you got to. But two, I'm not gonna do it no more. You got me. You got me. I'm not. No, you got me. Don't be lazy. Stop being a bum. No. And go get another job. No, no. What you can do is you can get up off and get you anything. another job because you quit no, a job. I'm, and I'm straight. And I'm straight. At the end of the day, you make me to go get you another job and take care of these bills. We got four. We got four kids, and you can't even barely take care of one. Who do all the work? I do most of the work. No, you that's don't. a lie. That's a lie. First. So one. what? How many? Yeah. That's why I'm stop right there. Make this a little larger. So. She just said they have one, two, three, four kids. He said in the video, this shows what does he say? How sorry you is. I think it's you are, but that's okay. I understand that's bucket language. How sorry you is. Well, if she's sorry and the little bit that she contributes, why would you need her? If she's sorry and a little bit that she contributes, and you still need her, what does that make you? 
So the light bulb is coming on for women. That's why some women <clears throat> are not wanting to get married. Four kids and shh, the four four kids and she works a job. You know they don't have a nanny. Four children and then she works on a she has a job. So I can about guess what's going on in this marriage to Cletus. I don't know his name, but for the sake of the video, he gonna, he's going to be Cletus. What's more than likely happening is that she goes to work on a job, gets up early, not just getting her ready, getting the kids ready. Then she comes home, she got a whole other job as wife and mom, housekeeper, maid, chef. Four kids, and she works a full-time job. She's burnt out. And she's probably realizing, she probably need to quit that job because she realized this is too much. Four, taking care of four kids? And you know darn well, most of these men, not coming home, okay, let me get the bath together. Let me do it. Honey, while you cook, I'm going to do the laundry. I'm going to start vacuuming, dusting all the grocery lists together. I'll go get the groceries for next week. I'll go ahead and change the sheets. I'll go get the dry. You think it's really working like that? Four kids. So she's probably going to work. Then when she goes to work, she come back home, all of the work again. He's complaining about the dinner. You have a wife on a full-time job. I take her, you and four kids, and you complain about dinner. What, you want lobster lobster tails tonight? With some salmon, what, uh, what wagyu steaks? Or oh, probably can't afford that dinner with, with, with him. Four kids, she has a job, and then sit up here, come home, and got to work all over again. So she's probably starting to realize all you're doing, and it, and it is in that kind of situation. You know, especially when you become a mom, you're just giving and giving and giving and giving. I bet he can't get a girl spa day. Four kids and a full-time job. You don't think that woman gets tired? What is he doing? Like most men do. Uh, why do you think there's a thing called a housewife? Because guess what? And even that, try to have a little side hustle in case something goes on, because you never know. But four kids and a full-time job. He's talking about that little part you bring in. This shows how silly you is. No, it shows how stupid you are if she brings in such a little part, and you and you have four children by this woman. You all have four kids, and she's on a, on a uh, full-time job. I don't, honey, I don't see anything wrong with it. She got some money stacked very good. But with him, guess what? With these males, uh, <clears throat> when you're in dust bucket land and you're not used to men that being that are being providers, don't forget, this is what happens when they're coddled. They cannot make it without you. A black woman, I know. Oh, she did well for herself. She picked up one and he wouldn't work. He would not. Now she had a corporate job she worked in accounting had a corporate job and um you know so she'd already had a nice home he just basically she just picked up scraped at the bottom of the barrel picked this guy up and, and they got together and she got married to him she carried them all and her kids took from a previous marriage carried her man too he would not work in the marriage uh let's see they got divorced and i mentioned her before on this channel Making the payments for a little timeshare, a place to use. He was taking the money for the timeshare, for the like, go on vacation. He was, he was taking that money and spending it on a um, a lady of the evening, Bekisha, who worked the corner. Literally, 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 I mean like walking the street, okay? He was spending the money on her. And that's how she found out. Never forget the day she told me. Uh, they'd gotten divorced. She said when he was married to her, he wouldn't even work at all. He married the prostitute off the street. 
took her off the street and he went and got two jobs. I just stood there like silent, like, okay, I was like literally on mute. She said he went and got two jobs to take care of her. People don't know what they want to do. So this right here, the what? Deal with the dust if you must. Don't put your trust in dust. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. So she's probably coming home realizing, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. I am so tired right now. I'm so, I'm so tired. Now I got to come home, cook and clean, got four kids, cook the dinner, then get them bathed. Let me guess, homework, okay, get them to bed, clothes for tomorrow. Oh, now he wants you out of all this work you're doing. It's time for you to pull out you some lingerie time. Oh, you ain't interested in me no, no more. So she got to... So you got that going on. Wake up again. What's what's going on? Wake up again. What, what's going on now? Okay. So now you got to wake up again. And so guess what? Go back to work. Get the get yourself up. Kids got to have breakfast. Get them up. Everybody dressed. Got the backpacks on. Go to school. You got all that going on. Then getting you together. Then you go to work. Then you go home. Working again. In between, let me guess, going to the grocery store to go ahead and get food and things like that, cooking and cleaning and laundry and all of that, all of that stuff. What is he doing? He probably coming home doing his, after doing his little job at the at the warehouse. He probably coming home like most men, taking a seat or watching TV. Or she might have a joystick in his hand, and she's up cooking. Everybody at the table and eating. Clear the table off. Now she's up cleaning. Get the kitchen clean. Maybe some other other light housework. Kids bathe. Okay. Now she's tired. Go back. Oh, now he doing a shoulder tap. Four children. Wow. Four children. She probably can't catch a break. Oh, on the weekend, probably the same thing. I doubt she up. I doubt she's sleeping late. Running errands, cooking and cleaning, maybe a, a, a hair appointment, nail salon appointment. It, what they say, it's too many jobs. It's too many, too many jobs, too many jobs. And that's probably why she quit the job, probably about to lose it mentally, just, just probably drained. Drained as hell, about to lose it mentally. That's what I'm guessing. That's why she quit. Probably quit that job. Just tired. So tired. When you have men that come from a coddled community, that's what's to expect. They used to send their mama and grandma. Everybody work. And so, and he, listen, he thinks he's doing something really exceptional by him having just a regular job. He thinks he's really doing something. You got to work too. My mama work. You not better than mama. <laughs> you got to work too. So all her life is just popping on a whirlwind. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. A mother of four kids and going to work. And then he says a little bit that she puts in. Then why don't you get a second job, get some more hours and handle that. I'm sorry. They're not worth marrying. I'm sorry to tell you. You can call however you want. I'm going to go ahead. They're not worth marrying. It, it is what it is. They're used to women pulling all the load. They're used to women doing all the work. That's what they're used to. So now you're like, man, I'm doing all this and I'm so tired. I'm so stressed out. And so what his mama did, his mama, listen. <laughs> I know someone, I remember meeting her, and she was um, in her 90s. She was uh, one of my friend's relatives in her 90s, walking just fine, you know, talking. Got her little outfit on, little coat buttoned up. Look, oh, yeah, you ready for the winter? Okay. Lucid. In her 90s. You expect retirement, right? Yeah, you got to be retired in your 90s. I mean, come on. Nobody works in their 90s. Think again. She was working two jobs. I said paying rent. 
a grandmother was in her 90s working two jobs parent and not gonna believe this part right here had a great grandson staying with her in his 20s rent free welcome to the matriarch in the bc i was like she two jobs it was crazy two jobs in her 90s had to pay her rent and then had a um what's up with a grandson yeah i think it was her great grandson anyway he was in his 20s he was staying there while she was still working on two jobs staying, staying there free unbelievable she died never did retire black woman in what the lord in her 90s why do i say that that's this community they expect you to work till you drop black woman work till you drop again i'm sorry marrying them is just not worth it what if that man tony said they need to get married why because they can't make it in my opinion they can't make it without you he said they're coming clowns no sir they are clowns and you can even tell. Where's the part that says, I know we have four kids. Everything is on you. I wish we would have had this discussion. Let me see what I can do. He hasn't said anything about, let me see what I can do. Try to get some more hours in. Try to get a side hustle. No, 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 no. They need you. They need you to have their children. And then uh, the things that you do that's positive, that's going to be the legacy. And when it goes bad, it's going to be on you. But when the kids grow up, they get jobs, careers, and they become good uh, earners, self-sufficient. Guess what? You just gave that old raggedy uh, dust bucket a, a, a legacy, and he hadn't done nothing. Might be running the streets on you. You just can't. Well, that's my son. Yeah, <clears throat> he and his mother. We did, the, you know, we did, we did, we did a good job. Yeah, we sure did. And then they'll don't be surprised. We'll be leaning on those same kids for retirement. Looking at the 401k, the portfolio uh, is Kim, Jason, Jamal, Jojo. That's the portfolio. Get a little bit from each one. You got me, you got me, them cheering. And she's young. She's young. She's probably just tired and probably quit that job. I need a break. And they expect all this from, what, what, what are you getting? Don't be surprised if he got any life insurance. It might be some old raggedy policy, $10,000 to my, I bought per unit. Like on that commercial. What's that? It might have his mama's name on it. Don't be surprised, ladies. My dad taught me earlier, a marriage got to benefit you. And if it's not benefiting you, what you doing it for? That's what my father taught me. I'm just saying. He said, it's got to benefit you. You need to know going into it. My dad was having this conversation with me when I was like, oh my God, I was in junior high. We be going to you know, run an errand or something. Just send a call to my dad, and I you know, listen. He's talking to us. It has to benefit you. If it's not benefiting you, what you're doing it for? I was like, again, I was in junior high. <laughs> okay. Investment life is business. People making most of the decisions, you're gonna lose hand. You you right about that. Better make a business. Oh, he's so cute. My baby will have a cute afro. Yep. I'm sure beautiful people have a beautiful afro. That's wonderful. What what does dad have? What does the father have going on though? What what's in it for you besides a beautiful baby? With a beautiful afro. What's in it for you? This woman is tired. He hasn't said anything. Okay. Honey, I wish you had discussed that with me prior, making that decision. We could have talked about it. Why would you do that? You're tired. Okay, you're stressed out. I get it. Let me see what I can do so we, I can try to maybe get some more hours in. Maybe I can try a little side hustle, a side job. Because I see you're stressed out and I want you to be well. You know, I want you to be well. And to be there for us. Because I need you. I need you to be well. I want you to be happy. Nothing like that said. All he's saying is, find you a job. Find you a job. It speaks volumes. He wants the, his wife with four kids. She got to get a job. She, wow, that's all it can say. Nothing like, let me, again, let me see what I can do. I don't know, you felt this way. I wish we had discussed it prior so we can kind of plan it. Let me see what I can do. 
and I'll try and get some more hours in. Maybe I can try and maybe start a side hustle, maybe work on the weekend, you know, to try to take up your slack. I understand you're my wife, the mother of my children, and you need a break. I understand you're stressed out. I don't want that for you. Everybody's different. Uh, I have an ex, ex, and we're good friends. And oh my gosh, he said, "Hey, you." Uh, a while ago, he's I left some more stuff over there. I had no idea, and it must have been I'm thinking at his other house because ain't no way I would have missed some of that stuff. You know, I was like, "There's no." I'm like, you know, I, I love to collect purses. I'm like, "There's no way." And it's like, yeah, it's here. So, you know, I got my stuff back. There was a whole bunch of stuff, and I said, "Oh, look at these papers and stuff." And something had popped up, and it was an email. And he was going out of town for business, um, going out of the country. And before he went, and we were not married again. We're still good friends now, but like his ex-boyfriend. We're, we were not married. But even then, before he left, and he sent me an email. Okay, um, you, you got this car, yada, yada, yada. I just want to, you know, make sure you're good till I get back. Um, gonna be gone, you know, whatever time frame it is. And he was just making sure. I'm a grown behind woman, of course. You got you, you got this here, to, you know, financially, you, you got this here. Um, oh, yeah. You, uh, you, you want to go shopping here? Just, you know what to do. I just want to make sure you, you have what you want. I want to make sure you have what you want, okay? And we'll talk about this when I get back. We're going to have to go ahead and rearrange today's for our trip. Okay, when, when you get back. But before he left, even though I can, I'm an earner myself, he did make sure I had sufficient. You want to go shopping here, take whatever. I'm like, hey, I didn't get the black card. <laughs> we joke a lot. You expect, why do I say that? You definitely expect more from um, a, a, a husband. And that's what I'm not hearing. Whole thing. Yin, 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 yin. Why? He doesn't feel that way. I'm trying to tell you. I'm convinced they need a woman to be the legacy. Some of them will, will get married and still run the streets. Any man can do that. But they want a woman to be the legacy. That's why you got to keep that job. Nothing to the point as, okay, let me see what I can do. This is how silly you is. He can't even get the right verb choice. I don't know. The prospect of getting a better job. Good luck with that. But nothing to come to her defense. Why do you feel this way? I remember now. With my husband. I had a job. You know, I have a, have a bad day and you with some old fool on the phone. <laughs> fool on the phone. And I was like, and I kind of believed it. Da, da, da. And he said, uh, he said, this is the second time you had an issue like that. You're kind of getting stressed out. And he's like, yeah, well, what I'm not going to do, and I'm just venting, understand? I'm venting. We all have a bad day on the job. You know, you're dealing with people. I'm just venting. When you come home, it's what you do. So he says to me, he says, well, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to have them abusing you. That's what I'm like, oh, no, no. He's like, so that right there, if they're going to be talking to people like that, I'm not going to have them. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to have them abusing you. You can go ahead and quit that job. And I can take care of everything. I'm not going to have you going up there. If they're going to be abusing you, I'm not going to have that. That's what most husbands should do. That's, that should be the desired response. And I'm like, I wasn't going to quit my job. No, I had a bad day. I'm telling you about it, but I'm not going to quit my job. No, I had a good, that was, that, that was a disciplined job. <laughs> Come on, you know. I was doing, doing great, man. Are you kidding? Why didn't that happen? Because you're, we're in a matriarch, these men are used to the women muling. And what is happening, more women are coming up with it. More, more, women are, more women are. You have women that are jealous of married women because they see the picture. Oh, it's true. It, it, it's true. You have women that are like, oh, because I, I don't really want that. Yeah, but what kind of marriage is it? You have some married women jealous of single women. They want to do over. Oh, you, you better believe it. I've seen a person marry, but it's like, girl, she just keeps on going in on a single, and, and then no kids. Oh, you have some married women as well that are jealous of single women. It can be a single woman that's uh, one kid. Oh, it didn't work out. And then the father's active, so they do all oh, every other weekend. Why? Because it is what it is. She might be tied down with this kind of responsibility. And especially if, if it's one of these booger barrels, child, when these dust buckets can't catch a break. 
And the sad thing is, you better try to keep one of these in good health. Because I'm here to tell you, most cases, when things happen to them, the regular ones, I don't understand this. How most cases, if something happens to them, they haven't made any kind of provision. That part right there. Hope they don't get hit by a bus. You look up, you're thinking, well, you know, there's life insurance. No, not with, uh-uh. Or his mama might be on it. Most of them, a lot of them won't even have life insurance. Some don't. A, a lot of them don't. Are you kidding me? What? Well, I think it's always a GoFundMe. And then a black person that does, everybody looking. I, I knew a young black man. He was a um, uh, baby daddy. He and the mom didn't, just, he and the mother didn't get along. But he was intelligent enough to guess what? He had this little side hustle going on. And he had a life insurance. Uh, he, he at least had like 150 on him. The beneficiary was his child. Well, he was baby dead. He created father's home. Well, he was providing for his kid and active in the life. The beneficiary of a, a life insurance policy, $150,000, was his child, his son. They, most of them can't even do baby daddy right. Was his son. So if something happens to him, guess what? That kid will know, okay, something happened to dad. Oh, I don't have my dad. Well, you got $100,000 that your father left you. And that kid was like maybe seven. I think like seven years old. Why? People doing what they want to do. That man cares about his seed. Most of them can't even. I ain't, No, no, no. Your mama going to get it. So a woman can have her children, but you still have some kind of animosity against her. They want to see you suffer. That's all I can surmise. Want to see you suffer. So this here. Our contract. Then you want me to stand up and be a man. Oh, it's, it's not going to happen. Another reason why a lot of black women, a lot of women, women and, and across the board, are choosing to be single. They are choosing to be single. Four kids. Not once did he say, you know what? I know you feel that way. Let's have a conversation. And then he wanted to get the can. That's, that's why our faces blew it out. Because now I don't think we have a skit right here. Then he wanted to get, get this get this out here to put her out. No, to real men, they already know. Oh, yeah. We weak man, sign of weakness. Why he can't make without his woman. A sign of weakness, he cannot make it without his woman. I need you to get a job. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Uh, uh, it's sad. You sign a contract with a dust bucket? With anyone, good luck. But I'm telling you, be you, you should know going in, because we are led by matriarch, you should know going in to what? To expect less. Expect to be the workhorse. Now, one time did he say, I know you feel that way. Okay, I want you to be happy. You must be stressed out. Let me see what I can do. You need to get a job. This shows how silly you is. Sign a contract with a dust bucket. Good. Uh, even if you're married to one, pumping out a whole bunch of kids, especially in this day and age, with any man, you might want to rethink that. So, let me know what y'all think. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out.